Hello, a quick vid on uh, adjusting your TPS throttle on your 3.5 and this is a, a 3 litre re rebuilt one that I've refurbished. Um, I'm going to test and adjust it correctly with the adjustment on the screws on the side there. Now you need your voltmeter set on K ohms and um, obviously a feeler gauge. Adjust your throttle body, uh, your throttle vane to snap shut correctly on the screw in there. You can see it there in the light, so it comes down on that. So the vane is closed properly uh, all the way, but all the pressure's on that screw, so it's fully closed off. Okay, you need uh, 0 0.2 25 won't focus on feeler gauge okay um, yeah 0 0.25 see there I've cut a little bit out of mine to make it fit plus put a bit of bend on it put that between the stock and the butterfly and bear with me I'll do that just Snap that in there so that it fits in there nicely. Between the two, okay. I'll turn that over now so that all the weight's off that, so it's closed tight on that, and the thing's not holding it open. Now what we'll do is use. hands, one hand, one is negative, you've got pins from left to right, sorry about the camera work, one, two, three, four, and that's negative, that's positive, so we'll put that on there, and what we're after, because these are a variable one, and are adjustable, is an ohm reading between 3.5k ohms and 6.5k ohms, at closed throttle with that gauge in place. Now, I'll put this on here. Sorry about the camera work again. There we go. There we go. It's on there. And I'm getting 4.54k ohms. Okay. So that's ideal for this one. It's sort of almost halfway at the bottom end, which is where we want it. If I take that feeler gauge out now and now check it. We're at 4.54 so that's where we want it we want that uh, slight dead spot where it's adjusted down to the minimum amount of ohms with that gauge in there till it just reads it because winding it back um, further back around this way further it'll actually cut out completely there won't be any resistance so you wind it back until you just get resistance with the feeler gauge in place and then of course tighten them up and um, yeah, and as you rotate, you'll actually see the ohms go up and then come back down. So you want that sweet spot where, with a gauge in place, a filler gauge in, in spacer in place, four, 3.5 to 6.5 ohms at the lowest end, wind it right round till no ohms, and then wind it back until you just get the ohms within that spec, and then you're spot on. Okay, cheers.